What is going on everybody? My name is Michael LeVan. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, what we're going to take a look at is a full hands-on demo of how to use AWS, Bloomy, and Go to create an S3 bucket. In a previous video that I had, I talked about infrastructure as software and I did bring up Plumi. So what we're going to do is instead of just talking about it and talking about the theory, we're going to see a live demo. Now to use this video and create an S3 bucket yourself, you're going to need two primary things. Well, actually, let's say three. The first is going to be AWS. So you're going to need some type of AWS account. You can use a free tier account that's perfectly fine. The next thing that you're going to need is you're going to need the AWS client installed and you're going to need it configured with an access key and a secret key. The reason why is because Plumi actually uses those credentials locally to authenticate and create that S3 bucket. And then the final thing that you're going to need is some sort of text editor. So I'm using Goland in this video, but you can use VS Code. That's perfectly fine. And with that, let's jump right in and get started. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the Plumi console. So I'm going to literally type in Plumi in Google. Plumi, I'm going to sign in. If you don't already have an account, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I can literally show you how it pretty much looks if you don't have an account. So once you click that sign in button, you have a few different options here. You can sign in with Atlassian, GitLab, email, or GitHub. I've just signed in with GitHub because that's where all my code is. So it just kind of makes it a little bit easier. So I do GitHub and uh, this is actually just gonna bring me back to my organization or my stack. So I'm gonna go to my admin turn DevOps. This is where, this is like essentially my GitHub, what it's pointing to and what I'm logging in as. So I'm gonna create a new project here. And what I wanna do is I have two options. I can choose my cloud. So I'm gonna choose AWS and then I can choose my language. And as you can see, there are a ton of different languages that you could choose from here. I'm gonna go with Go. I'm gonna click next. And then I'm gonna give my project a name. So I'm gonna say AWS Go S3, because what we're gonna be doing is just simply creating an S3 bucket. We'll give this a description, create an S3 bucket. The stack name, we'll just call it development, and then the AWS region. So because I'm in New Jersey, obviously US East one is the closest to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on create project. So the really cool thing is, is as soon as you create a new project with Plumi, you have the ability to essentially just literally follow this getting started guide and it's going to get you up and running. So I already do have Chocolatey installed, but if you need to install it, if you're on Mac, if you're on Linux, you can absolutely do that. And then you can go ahead and you can create that new directory. So I'm going to copy the clipboard here. Just going to open up terminal. I'm going to go to my desktop. And then I'm going to just simply run this. So now we have this new AWS Go S3. That's the project name that we created. And then we can just go ahead and create the new project. Well, not create the new project, but we have the ability to pull it down and get started. So I'm gonna go back here and then I'm gonna run this command, right? So what this is asking for is this is gonna want us to log in. So I'm gonna click enter here. It's gonna bring us up to the Palumi page for a login. Go ahead and I'm gonna click GitHub here, right? And it says, yep, you're logged in, you're good to go. So I'm gonna close out of this. And we can see here that it we, we are logged in now and I do have an upgrade available, but we don't have to worry about that right now. But if we go ahead and we click LS here, we can see a whole bunch of generated configuration files already for us. So I'm gonna open this up and ah, you know what? I'm actually gonna open this up in GoLand, but you can open it up in VS Code or any other text editor that you want. That portion really doesn't matter all that much. So I have GoLand open here. I'm gonna to go to open project and then I'm gonna look for my project, AWS Go S3. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up in this window. Okay, so now we have this project already open for us. So what I can do is I can open up the main.go for example, and we can see here that there's actually already some code here that we can use to create an S3 bucket. And we're gonna go ahead and just edit this around just a little bit. But the one other thing that I do want to show you are these Palumi files, these YAMLs. So this is actually like the project name, the runtime that we're using, aka the general purpose programming language, which is Go, and then the description. But really what we care about is the main.go file, which is going to be what we're using to actually create that S3 bucket. 
instead of using the code that Pulumi essentially generates for us, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create our own. Now there are a few th things that we will use from here. So for example, we are gonna use this anonymous function from the Pulumi.run function. We're gonna use the new bucket function because that's just what you need to use in the SDK to actually create a bucket. But let's just go ahead and let's just delete all this. So the first thing that we're gonna do is set up our package, our package main. And then we're going to have a few imports. Now, the imports that we're going to use, two are going to be from the standard library, and then two are going to be from the Pulumi SDK. So to actually be able to use these, we're going to have to install them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight these. I'm going to open up Windows Terminal, run as administrator. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is go get the SDK. Now you might see an error here. And if you do see an error, I'll tell you exactly how to fix that error. And that's going to be with the go 111 module. Okay, and here's that error. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up an environment variable environment, go 111 module equals on. Okay, and then we're going to try to rerun this. And as you can see, we can pull down these versions. And th the thing that Go 111 module, when that's on, what that does is it tells Go that we're saying, allow us to bring down any version of the SDK or any package that we're installing anytime that we want to. You can see here that the first SDK installed. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up, we're gonna get the other package. We're gonna do the same thing, go get, run this, wait for this to complete. And now we're ready to officially start setting up our package. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to GoLand here. Now let's take a look at our first function that we're gonna use. So our first function is gonna be create an S3 bucket, and we're gonna have one argument that we're gonna be passing in, which is gonna be a string. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna test for our edge case, and our edge case is gonna be for the bucket name. So if the bucket name equals equals nil, what we want is we want to panic right off the bat. We do not want this program to go on any longer than it has to. So if the bucket name doesn't exist, that means obviously the S3 bucket cannot be created. The next thing that we're going to have is we're going to have this run function. And this run function comes from the Plumy package. And then you pass in an anonymous function. And this anonymous function has one argument that we're passing in, and that's a context. So as you can see, Plumy actually has its own context. And we're going to use this pointer right here to point directly to the value of the context. And then we're going to have a return type of error. So the first thing that we do within this anonymous function is we just have a little standard output saying, you know, creating an S3 bucket for our users. And then we have a variable with two values, bucket and er. So what we're passing in or essentially using in this variable is the S3 package. And we're going to use the new bucket function. And we're going to pass in three arguments here the context, the bucket name itself, and nil. Now, nil is because like essentially you can pass in any arguments if you want to, but we don't have to pass in any arguments specifically, so we're just gonna use this as nil. And then we're gonna set up our error handling. So our error handling is if error not equals nil, AK, if there are you know any errors that occur, we're gonna have a print output that says the S3 bucket was not created, an error occurred, and then we're gonna print out that error. And then we're gonna have an else statement here that says the new S3 bucket was created, we're going to have a placeholder value that percent sign s and then that percent sign s is going to be bucket aka that first variable and then we're going to return nil because we can return nil at this point we're pretty much returning everything that we want to already and then we also have a few more variables so we have that project info that's pointing to the run info type and that run info type allows us to pass in a few different values. The values that I'm passing in specifically is the project name, AWS Go S3, and then the stack, which is the development stack. And then finally, we're gonna wanna pass in our main function to run our create S3 bucket. So the main function is gonna have essentially two inputs. The first is going to be the bucket name itself. That's the variable that we're gonna to use to create and what bucket name we want. And then we're gonna be passing in that create S3 bucket function. And with that, let's head over to the PowerShell prompt and actually create our new S3 bucket. I have my PowerShell prompt here. And what I'm gonna to wanna to do is CD into the location where my Pulumi project exists. Okay, so now we can run Pulumi up here. 
And what this is going to do is this is going to start to install all of the plugin resources needed for the AWS SDK. And then it's going to also start to plan our environment to confirm that it looks accurate from a code perspective and Pulumi is ready to proceed to actually create it. You can see this prompt here. And the first thing that you might see right off the bat is you'll see that it's creating an S3 bucket and deleting an S3 bucket. The reason why is because I did test this previously just to make sure it would work. So you're probably not going to see that. What you're going to see is you're just going to see a create there under the plan. So I'm going to click yes here because I want to create my new S3 bucket. We can see that it is being created and now we see that one resource has been created, one has been deleted. So let's head over to the AWS portal and let's see that new S3 bucket. So I'm at the AWS portal here. I'm going to go to S3, type in my name, and as we can see the new bucket has officially been created. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it and we'll see you again next time.